Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we're here to showcase Meow, Mauxir, and show her gameplay, show her skills. And if you happen to like this video, again, you may click that like button. And also, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe because this helps my channel a lot. So, without any further delay, let's take a look at um, the skills first of, uh, of Meow. We have here the standard skill. So her standard skill is basically an, uh, she drags an avatar out of the body, deals frost damage, and transfer the damage taken by the avatar. So it reflects damage onto the host. So this skill is basically very good for single target or for single bosses. So the avatar has the same defense as the host and has max HP equal to the current HP of the host. It only takes damage from Mauxir. It doesn't take damage from anybody. So when Mauxir leaves the field, the ID avatar also disappears. So you cannot switch operatives while the ID avatar is um, out. So again, this skill is very good for single target or for bosses. So moving on to the support skill. This one I am having fun using. Um, I'm using Meow actually as one of my um, support operatives or auxiliary op operatives. So this one is blast the ego avatar out of the designated target, a uh, designated target dealing frost damage. This one, however, has the same defense as the host, but max HP is equal to 50% of the host's current HP, and can't, it can't be hit by shots. So you cannot shoot it. You regard uh, using your your gun. So you have to use skills or your ultimate. But if you, for example, level up the neural skills, then they, it could have multiple targets. So take note: you could use it in a mob. It will target probably around two or three, but at least you're hitting, you could hit now multiple targets with this support skill. And the last one, uh, not the last one, the second to the last one is the ultimate skill. So Moxir places a balance judgment to judge designated target soul. If the HP is lower than Moxir's current HP, so take note, her kit is driven around her HP. Um, it's tied to her ultimate. So immediate execution uh, effect will be triggered to deal frost damage. So immediate immediate execution damage is 150 of Moxir's current HP. So technically, you really have to make sure that she has a lot of HP. Okay, so, but if the target's HP is higher than Moxir's current HP, uh, deferred execution effect will be triggered for the next 10 seconds when Moxir hits the target. Her attack deals additional frost damage based on Moxir's HP. This effect can be triggered at most once every 0.5 seconds for each target. So, again, deferred execution additional damage per time is 15% of Moxir's HP plus 91. So, the ultimate is basically ideal to use if the boss or a single target's HP is probably in the middle already or half, um, not at full HP. So please make sure that uh, you have that in mind when you're using the ultimate. So also for the um, skill details for the devious alignment or the passive, max HP of max here increases by 11 for each 100 alignment index. In, uh, extra increase of 4%. So that's a total of 15%. So those are her skills. Let's take a look at... Um, so for the weapon, sorry, let's go back to the details here. In terms of recommendations, this is the, the recommended uh, weapon for her. This is Hypochlorous Acid. This is Frost Damage. Converts 110% attack to max hp which is actually built for her kit and she has here your recommended um your recommended logistics actually i'm using this one let's go to her weapon so as you can see it's hypochlorous acid so far and logistics i'm using uh cross eye squad which increases her hp so this will bolster her damage for her ultimate 
Um, not sure if I could feature her ultimate later, but I'll try because um, I have to build up her ultimate for that to come out. Manifestation and Neuronic. So I've had already um, two for her support unlock and one for her standard skill. So let's move on to a little bit of gameplay. There are two gameplays that I have prepared. One is for mob control and one is for a boss. Okay, guys, so this is the lineup that I'm bringing. We'll try to showcase all of her skills in this run. So her standard skill, her ultimate and her support skill. So more or less, I'm using her as a support and life will be your main DPS. So let's check this out. Okay. Okay, let's swap her let out. Why so, so far, she has decent damage. Only if she has a similar, uh, you know, a, what do you call this? A similar gun, a similar ability of a gun for a higher rarity. I think her DPS would increase. But at this point, I think this is the only recommended gun that she has. This pertains to her combo for her HP. So let us... Um, let us look for a mob that is close. Let's adjust the conditions. So that is... She has low damage for her SMG. That is why... Okay. You cannot do... You cannot make her as a primary DPS. Operative, you still... You just have to make sure that she's at the back. Okay, so... Let us pull these guys together here. Let's do... Let's do a... Okay, so support. I need their support. Let's switch. There you go. There you go. That's for all of them in the middle. So if you counted that, that's almost everybody that had an avatar. So that is why I like this support skill. Because it gives you a lot of damage, especially if they're pulled in the middle. So let's... Uh... Okay, again, for the primary skill. So there you go. That's her primary skill. Leave it to me. Let's go with support again. There you go. deal with the boss in a while just finish these off okay so we only have one left the boss let me just uh Make sure that this one is soft enough and I take out shield before I use the ultimate for... Okay, not you. Let's do the ultimate. There you go. That is it, guys. Those are her three skills hope you liked it and hope you'll be able to use her even as a support she is very fun to use so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here